Hello, I'm the Great Orbax, and we're here today with Dr. Mike Mass. This is all pressure. <laughs> okay. Now that we've come to terms with pressure and the changes in it that were elucidated there by my incredible acting, perhaps we could discuss the concept of changes in pressure in some sort of liquid system. Okay. Dr. Manson? Okay, so we've established that in a liquid, the pressure increases the further down you go. And, and comparing two points, any two points here, if there's a difference in depth, then there's a difference in pressure. Right, now. so here we would have the same pressure. Absolutely. It doesn't, lateral differences don't matter. It's okay. just the vertical differences in a liquid. So, so in terms of that, then by that argument, what you're saying is that this change in pressure is the same as this change in pressure. As absolutely. Well. Yeah. So, and that's as long as we're looking at points in the same body of water, regardless of the shape of the, of the water. So here we've got a tub, but if I were to change this into some sort of uh, U-shaped tube or straw like system, mm -hmm. then we could say, well, in the bath, the pressure was greater down here than up here, and by a certain amount, based on the height, delta P is equal to rho GH, nothing has changed here, right? right? So it's the same difference in pressure. So what we're actually looking at then in a scenario like this is something where we have a water level here and a water level here. Right. And we can discuss the change in pressure from here and here simply as just rho GH. Right. Now, of course, if this was a tube and we had water in there, the, the pressure would be if bound. both sides were open to the actual atmosphere and there was, you would have no change in that, right? That height would, would be the same. It would right. just be no difference in pressure. Right. But you can get situations where you will get a difference in the, in the water level here. And this, this becomes useful as a way to actually measure differences in pressure. Say there's a sealed off end here with some gas, with some pressure. Let's call that P2 here. Right. And then this will be open maybe just to the atmosphere. Right. right. So it's only experiencing some pressure P1. Okay. So the fact that you see two different water levels suggests that the pressure at each water level differs. And we could say, right, well, P2 minus P1, there would be a pressure difference based on rho GH. And you could say also that this has to be a greater pressure than here because it's physically pushing this liquid up. Yeah, absolutely. Right? It's fighting against the force of gravity of this amount of material there. Right. So I think using your intuition to look at the difference in water levels helps establish which is the higher pressure. And then actually you can calculate that now if you know the difference in height. I guess you could say it takes the pressure <laughs> of away 